for all you uh, WineGuard automatic satellite users on Shaw Direct. As of uh, January 2023, it's been apparent that the satellite system on the automatic side, it will the dish will go up, but it won't lock on to the satellite. So this uh, brief video is demonstrating how you can do uh, a manual stop on the search function so that you can watch channels till such time that WineGuard will have a repair in process, you know, you know, some kind of resolve or a solution to it. And from what I've heard, that won't probably happen till the end of January sometime. So please watch this brief demo here and I'll show you how you can stop your automatic search function and go to manual stop so that you can watch the channels that you do have. So number one, turn on your WineGuard search uh, on automatic search. But before we do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to the TV and through your Shaw re remote receiver, we're gonna go on to the options button and hit the options. And there will be a screen that comes up and it shows preferences. We'll use the arrow over button and we'll click the arrow over until we get to the status display. Then we'll hit the enter button twice, once and twice. And we'll get a demo screen up here. It tells all the information about your particular uh, account, etc. So up here on, on line C, signal level tuner one, I'm on channel 212, but I got zero signal. So what we're going to do when we activate the WineGuard controller box by powering it up, you'll watch that zero will peak up to a, a number, be it 87, 92, 97, whatever number. Then what you will do is quickly just hit the power and the select button to stop the search mode so it won't continue searching because if you don't, it will go back into the search mode and it will just look and look and look. So this is how you manually stop it so you can watch your channels in the interim till such time that WineGuard has a solution to this problem. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to turn on the power button on the WineGuard controller box, power it up and let go. And now you need to be handy with your fingers and be able to hit the power and the select button on the controller the moment that this C, line C, signal level tuner one on a channel that you normally watch TV on. So let's say 212 or 213 or something, CBC, BC TV or something in the Western hemisphere here. It'll go into the search mode, give it a couple of minutes because the wine guard is now going up and doing this particular search mode. It will go up to that that satellite. I hear it going up now. It'll probably take about a minute or two. And then we'll see this 212 up here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on it here. So you see that level there. It says signal level tuner 1, channel 212, zero signal. DB is at 2.4 right now, which is nothing. But those numbers will go up. And then on your WineGuard controller box, what you will do is you will hit the power and the select button at the same time to stop search once we have a signal on the tuner line. So we'll just watch for this. I'm going to get ready here. So we're just going to watch this line up here on line C. It says zero right now. Give it possibly another minute or two here or whatever. So you're going to become the automatic stopper. Okay, thank you. Just bear with me. So right now the satellite is just up on the roof doing its GPS coordinates and all that. That's why we, it's still not doing its search mode. That usually takes a minute or two. If it's quiet in your RV, you can usually hear the motor turning and stuff like that. So you can you know that it's going over into the search mode. So there we are. We've got a signal of 98 and 92. And I'm just going to hit power off in progress so there you go you got a signal on both lines this happens to be a PVR so we got two lines we got a signal of 98 and 92 and I hit the power and select button on the traveler controller box it powers it off and it stops the search mode so now you can watch TV until such a time that you want to stow this system but what you'll do when you stow the system is you'll hit the power button one more time it'll connect with the unit up top and then you have to hit the power button one more time to actually stow it 
So that's one more functionality that you have to do when you want to go into the stow mode now because first you have to power it up, then power it back down to stow. So thank you very much and I hope this helps. Bye for now.